welcome back to my channel my name is Sena and this is Design Simply if you are new here welcome to the beautiful creatives DIY family of this world <laughs> I guess and if you're returning thank you so much for your support I greatly appreciate it um, so yeah today's video is another bathroom reno slash makeover slash mini slash not so mini um yeah i was approached by builders warehouse to be part of their campaign which was all about the bathroom renovations and yeah so thank you thank you so much to builders warehouse i truly truly appreciate the gift that you guys gave me and allowing me the opportunity to redo my bathroom which is something i so desperately wanted to do but just a didn't have the energy and b didn't really want to invest too much into the space so yeah i'm really appreciated to that and if you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already but before i talk way too much let's go on to the video When starting this project, I was really inspired by bold prints and narrow spaces that have a really dynamic effect. And of course, I also checked out the builder's blog where you're able to see some great tips and inspiration. This is my bathroom. So I thought the space would just start here. So as you can see, I have a completely open wall. I used to have a bit of art here, but um, I took it down. I really, really do not like this color. I used to have two of these. It's like these Christmas things, and then I painted them black because they're green. I do not like them. Also, I have a bit of damage from the wet towels. As you can see, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I had zero storage in here, so I had to add the shelf. I also have faucets down here as well for more storage. But the reason why all of this is so messy is because I do not like having to always bend down to grab everyday supplies it just becomes too much so ideally i would like to redo this whole thing paint that color because i'm also over it and yeah so i want to have a completely white bathroom and then just make it really stylish by having black accessories but yeah i'm excited <laughs> Ugh, we're gonna have a new bathroom soon since this video is semi-sponsored by Builders Warehouse, they were gracious enough to give me a 2000 Rand voucher. I decided to step in and see what they have. I immediately went to the bathroom section and I love how this bathroom is set up. Also having a look through their range, they have a lot of stainless steel, but I did manage to see this matte black set and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can never go wrong with matte black. It's always the perfect set of the pop color. Wait, did I just say pop color? I 100% meant to say pop of color. But they also have some really, really beautiful basins. I love a round basin. I think it's so modern, it's so classic. I will always love one. They also have a whole bunch of storage and range when it comes to the cabinetry so definitely do check them out and now i'm just gonna let the rest of this video play out and you guys can see what their range is all about So the first thing that I'm doing is removing the shelf. If you guys remember my first makeover, you would have seen the struggles when it came to the shelf. Actually, there were quite a few struggles in that. Um, struggles in this one too. I don't know, the curse of the bathroom. I also tried to remove these, but I just could not get anything done. So I decided let me just move right along to this mirror. And let me tell you, this double-sided tape actually held on for a really really long time so i was super impressed with that but it did leave the wall damaged so i'm gonna have to fix that up 
I need to fix up some of this water damage. So what I did is that I just used um, my tool to kind of remove all the bubbling and then I'm going to sand it afterwards and then use some polyfiller. So I do want to let you guys know that this consistency was actually completely wrong. I didn't really follow the instructions, I kind of just eyeballed it. But if you want the perfect consistency, I would say follow the instruction. Otherwise, just have a good feel for it and you pretty much know when you have it right and when you don't. Uh, my basin has come loose. Yeah, the anchor, it's a bit hard to tell, but the anchor is completely loose and it looks like it took on some of the plaster, some of the wall with it, so I can't even really screw it back in by myself, because um, that's all the knowledge I have, I can't really screw it back in because now it has nothing to anchor to really, so I'm going to have to get a, a plumber or maybe get in a second opinion because girls, girl, 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 girl is me, I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, um, onto this, I actually went back in with this, it's dry now, I went back in with this uh, because I realized that the first consistency that I made was a bit too light, um, too thin. I'm calling, maybe I'm selfish, out. I want you to myself, I can't help it. Texas, all the way to New Orleans, where the girls cook catfish. And in LA, every chick's an actress. Hollywood status with the shaded glasses. To Detroit, yeah, the place that I rest, where the ladies got asses and la sex. Finally, we can move on. I mean, happy dance, anyone? But yeah, let's get to painting. I'm feeling myself too much, I guess. But to my ladies all across the globe. In small towns that I don't even know, no, to all local international codes. Whether you see me in streets or catch me at shows, I'm calling. Maybe I'm selfish. So our first DIY is super spring inspired and super super tropical. It's a botanic mural, and I am copying exactly what I see on Pinterest because it is perfect for my space. And you know me, I do love some color. I'm failing. So our next DIY is to make some pretty cute little shelves, which are these Ogd or Half Moon, however you want to refer to them. But I do have to apologize for this really, really weird angle that I have going on over here. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. What you will need is some cardboard, glue and tape for reinforcement and then you just put everything together however if you guys would like a more detailed tutorial or something a little bit more elevated but also adopting the same theme then just let me know in the comment section below So with this DIY, because I could not get the mirror that I wanted, I just went and bought a mirror and then used an old belt that I had. I used glue and some tape. After that, I decided to flip over my mirror because it's a lot easier to work from the back. So I just put on my first branch to just try and get a pretty good understanding or guide rather as to where I want this whole branch vine thing to fall. And then next just gonna start layering i will say though that you need to be careful with the tape and be mindful about where you place the tape because you are gonna want to conceal it with some of the leaves and please don't be alarmed by how crazy the bag looks like it's an organized mess to say the least also don't be afraid to like peel off some of the leaves just to get more stem work that you can work with so that it's easier to paste down with the tape 
and yeah just look at how it goes trim what you don't like continue to play around with it our last DIY is probably the easiest one of them all. I was kind of over having a white shelf, so I decided to do some eco space masking tape, give it a good old spray paint, and then Bob's your uncle. Guys, uh... <laughs> We're finally here! Oh my gosh, I am super super excited. I cannot even control this voice over. But yeah, we are down to the final touches guys. And yeah, I'm super super stoked. So a quick reminder of how the before looked like. to Bali I wanted a space that would give me kind of an escape um, and just feel tropical that's what I wanted I just wanted like a mini tropical oasis um, so yeah I'm really really obsessed with the colors the color palette like everything I did I love I wouldn't change a single thing yeah okay let me not gloat too much <laughs> please let me know what you guys think of this video i really really do appreciate your feedback your comments and don't forget to hit the like subscribe and i'll see you all on the next one bye